Well, she made history as the first African-American woman to serve on the St. Louis County Council, and today she is making waves again. After being fired, Hazel Irby filed a lawsuit against the county this morning. Argentina Cornell spoke to Irby's attorney, who says the county violated the public employee whistleblower law. On August 18th, Hazel Irby tweeted that she was fired and said, I will not be silent. Now, almost two months later, she's putting those words into action. She is suing St. Louis County. Ms. Irby's alleging that she was fired for insisting on compliance and disclosing violations of the county's minority business contracting ordinance. So the lawsuit is formally brought under Missouri's public employee whistleblower statute. Attorney Josh Pearson says under this statute, it's unlawful for a government agency to fire an employee for disclosing violations. And that's what he believes happened to Irby. After being on the county council since 2004, she resigned last year to be director of diversity, equality and inclusion. When she took this job, you know, she took it with the desire and the expectation to be able to continue advocating for this community. Pearson explains there's a county law called the Minority and Women Owned Business Enterprise Program. It requires bidders on county projects to employ a number of minority and women owned businesses. He says his client put pressure to make sure this happened. From what we understand, uh, Sam Page and his government was never very receptive to her to her insistence. Pearson claims Irby criticized the latest project, the temporary morgue for COVID-19 deaths. The lawsuit says the county accepted bids from contractors who did not comply with the MWBE's requirements. After that, Dr. Page removed part of her job duties and then fired her shortly after. Back in August, County Executive Sam Page says they were looking for more focus in the department and the ability to accomplish even more. Due to pending litigation, his office won't comment on this lawsuit. But for Irby, she's hoping to be heard. Allows her to recover damages, so that would include lost wages, lost benefits, emotional distress. We've also asked the court for equitable relief, which would potentially include reinstatement or her job back. Justina Cornell, five on your side. Recently, there was another lawsuit against St. Louis County. Lieutenant Colonel Troy Doyle filed a racial discrimination suit, alleging Sam Page passed him over for police chief because he is black. 